welcome to Estadio Morumbi, home to one of the powerhouses of Brazilian football, Sao Paulo FC. This is Peter Drury, and next to me, providing insights, will be Jim Beglin. Well, thank you very much, Mr Drury, and hello to everyone. Starting lineups. running Step in there, that was more than necessary. This game is in need of some excitement, it needs help, and it's down to the creative and striking talent to up their game and, and give this crowd something to cheer about. to intervene and dispel the growing danger. Approaching the half-hour mark. Tries to stroke it through. Lovely bit of skill. Loose ball, who's going to get there? Dinks one in. Dangerous looking ball come to nothing no goals as yet good spell of possession this but very little to show for it gets it upfield cuts it out And it's half time here. We can review the first half. Well, this has proved a very frustrating day so far, especially for the strikers. Nothing has been created for them. I think the service has been extremely poor. And after 45 minutes, it is still goalless. A change perhaps after half time. Again, then. Well, that first 45 minutes didn't deliver as we'd hoped. Lots of effort, but a, a lack of quality with the finishing has left us hoping that someone can step up and produce something a little more magical. Waiting for a goal to report here. He just got good distance. 
on that. Very little to report from an attacking perspective. Jim, it's a cagey old game. Yeah, I think it's a scoreline in keeping with what we've seen up to this point. Combined attempts at goal aren't high in numbers, and we could do with something to spark this contest into life. run from a defender and the referee's awarded a free kick as scoreless games go I'd be happy to see this one carry on a bit longer because it's had great honesty and hard work and total commitment as for a possible winner, I'm still not predicting. Tries a through ball. Now here's the through ball. And he's made sure that that won't get through. And that is it. There will be penalties. Well, I think both sides will be a little disappointed they haven't registered here. It just seems to be one of those games. They tried hard enough, but a bit of bad luck here and there and a touch of poor finishing, and it's led to this. Well, after two long hours, it comes down to nerve, to technique under pressure, to penalties. Real tension here, then, as the first man readies himself. It is so important to score the first one. And he's found the net. Oh, that was a great strike. He just gave the keeper absolutely no chance. Coolly done, one each. You could see he was really nervous taking that one, but he's made it one apiece. So, the second man in line. I thought he did really well to hold his nerve then and score that penalty. So, the second man in line. Back off the post! Oh, agonisingly close, but he's been denied by the woodwork. The third man in the queue. Our keeper's gone the right way, but can't keep it out. The third man in the queue. Keeper, no chance. He was always looking good there, nice penalty. He steps up to take the fourth penalty. That's how it's done, he made the keeper commit. And they're two up. <laughs> Lest you need reminding, miss this and it is over. It's there and the fight goes on. Well, he strolled up and struck that with great confidence. That's a superb spot kick. The scene is set for a would-be hero. He's buried it, and he's won it! Shootout winners. It is such a compelling way to win, compelling and cruel but they were so composed under pressure, and that was the difference. Well, it's been such a long match, and the penalty shootout is always a difficult way to end the game, but I thought they did really well to hold their nerve and come through. And with that, it's time for me to thank Jim Beglin and to wish you a very good evening.